Are you looking to buy a detached home in the greater Toronto area under a million dollars? I know it can be frustrating. This is why we hand selected a few properties that we think will sell under a million dollars. And the best part, they're in move-in condition and in great locations. How do we know? Because we follow a similar trend in all the properties we evaluate and find a price point that they will sell for. My name is Sid Chandra and we run a real estate team here in the greater Toronto area to help you with your real estate goals. If you'd like to chat about buying, selling or investing in real estate, feel free to click on the link below and book a call with us directly. Now I know there is no crystal ball to predict how much a home is going to sell for, but there are some precautionary steps you can take to prevent yourself time, money and energy. Before I go about sharing these properties with you, I want to show you how we find these properties. So I'm not only giving you the fish, but showing you how to fish as well. Now, full disclosure, with all the tips, techniques and opportunities presented to you, you still won't strike a good deal if you don't have the right mindset. Buying a property should never be done emotionally unless you're a multimillionaire, in which case you should be OK with slightly overpaying as well. Or if you're trying to time the market, good luck, because Timing the market is impossible. The patterns and trends that the market go up and down on are very unpredictable. It requires a fine balance between buying emotionally and making market educated decisions. Here's our three best practices to find steel deals in any market. First, have your ducks in a row. Get pre-approved and have a crystal clear vision of what you want in the property. That is the neighborhood, not the city, but the neighborhood the area, the finishes, the square feet of the property, if the basement should be finished or not, the age of the property, get as specific as possible. The more details, the easier it is to find the right property. Number two, look for the reason why the property is being sold. Normally, bargain deals have a story behind why the seller wants to sell so quickly and below market value. Normally, it's properties that don't show well, either pictures aren't taken well, or it's not marketed correctly, homes that have been on the market for a while, tenanted properties, or properties that are just off market and didn't get enough exposure. Always ask your agent or the seller directly why the home is being sold and connect the dots to see if it's a realistic story. Number three, and this is the most important, visit the homes personally so you can educate yourself about what the home looks like and how much it's selling for. This will also give you a feel of the neighborhood, the finishes and potential flaws that you may not catch in pictures. Here's a bonus tip. Have a AAA team working beside you to facilitate the transaction. A good lawyer, mortgage agent, home inspector and of course a realtor to put everything together are fundamental pillars you need to have to not only strike a good deal but have a smooth transaction. Now as I mentioned earlier, here are a few properties that we found worth looking at. When I say worth looking at, I don't mean they are perfect for you. They are just worth looking at. Pay attention to the strategies rather than the property itself. Now one of them has been on the market for some time and the other is tenanted. This is enough for us to entertain the idea of seeing whether it's worth booking a visit or passing on it simply. You may be looking for better finishes, a better location or a home that is bigger but the strategies will never change. The first property we can see is just under five years old, fully detached home, modern kitchen with stainless steel appliances, nine feet ceilings, and a unfinished basement. Here's a few reasons why I think this seller may be open to negotiate. A, he's having a hard time sell. It's been 79 days on the market. B, it's an unfinished basement and homes around this age tend to have finished basements because people want extended family or a tenant to rent out the basement and pay a portion of their mortgage. Another big reason, when we looked into the history of this property, we noticed that it was priced at a higher price point for about two weeks and then they lowered it down. A lot of times buyer get revoked and think that a home has a stigma attached to it if it doesn't sell past three to four weeks. It's been 79 days for this one. Next, we also have a detached home once again with a double car garage, grand 20 feet four year entrance and a corner lot. This one has also been on the market for 21 days and listed just under a million dollars. Here's the opportunity. They may have a hard time showing the property because it's tenanted and usually tenants don't care about presenting the home in the best possible light because it's not their own property. 
Again, these properties may not be the right ones for you, but these strategies will apply for your search as well. The most important thing is to be ready and fully informed when the opportunity arises and take action without overthinking it. Hope you found this video helpful and until next time, we provide results that move you.